gonna be demoing close stance squats. These ones right here are really, really, really good for that outer sweep in your quad. Um, when I do my squats, I don't like to come down below 90 degrees. Once again, it's just personal preference for me. It puts a little bit too much pressure on my knees. When you're performing a squat, whether it's close stance, regular, or wide, you wanna make sure to keep your chest up, that little arc in your lower back, shoulders back. When you come down, you kinda of wanna force your butt out a little bit, kinda of gives you a little bit of a hip hinge. When you come down, never let your knees pass your toes. You always wanna force the entire amount of weight that you're lifting with your heels. So if you find that you're kinda of pushing with your toes, you need to stretch your hamstrings just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna demo this here. This here is for pad, just in case this hurts your neck. Obviously, I cannot use that. When you do this, you wanna make sure not to have the bar sit on the top part of your neck. It puts too much pressure on your spine. You wanna come down just a little bit and it kinda of sits in a little, uh, little groove. My chest is up, shoulders back, and I wanna come straight down to about 90 degrees and push with my heels. At no point in time should I lean too, too far forward or too far back. You wanna be consistent throughout the entire motion. When I get to the top myself, I don't fully lock on my knees, but I flex my quads as hard as I possibly can. And that's close dance quads.